everyone. Today I will show you how to restore a hacked Facebook business page account. Well, unfortunately, last month I was a victim of a scam called phishing. This is a scam where the hacker tried to get a sensitive information from you, like your username and password. Okay, so how they do this? They will send you a link and through this link you will have to fill up some information and this information they will use to hack your Facebook account. In this case, is specifically for the business page. Okay, so how did this thing happen to me? There was a guy named Nazir Khan, and he pretended to be working with Facebook. He said that he will post an article in my page, and I will be paid monthly. Actually, weekly, he said. And you know what? You won't believe it. Just today, I received the same uh, message, but from a different guy, okay? My account was hacked last month, and I already got it back. And today, I got the same message from a different person that shows like this. See? This is how they trick people. Hello, admin. Are you interested in posting articles in your page through instant Facebook articles? You will be paid $120 per item and every day see it's very very tricky actually I didn't reply anymore I immediately move it into the spam here I moved it into spam I don't want to continue the conversation anymore because I don't want to risk my page being hacked again I have this Facebook business page for seven years now so it's really really difficult to take a risk but I'm just showing you how it all started okay so once you reply to them to this guy they will send you a link and in this link you will have to put your username the email and your password and then I remember the guy told me that I have to wait for some time the Facebook will check it and if they approve it then we can start the posting of Facebook articles and when I check the account of this guy he really looks legitimate his account looks legitimate same like if you check this guy where is this view uh, okay view his profile profile see there are photos you can see it's like a legitimate account but that guy Nazir Khan it's more legitimate because his post is mainly related to BuzzFeed and Facebook so that's why I really believed him but unfortunately after I gave those information, the next day I found out that this one. I found out this. I can no longer access to my messages. See? Messaging is disabled for this page. And then when I checked the page roles, it showed me this. I got a screenshot last time. So see the view page roles. All of us, my, these are my family, mem family members, we became analysts. And this is me, I became an analyst. And these two guys, they became the admin. So I can no longer access my account. I can just see it, okay, but I cannot see the messages. So I cannot reply to my customers anymore. So I got, you know, I panicked because this is uh, very, very important for me. This is my main uh, source of income now. So what I did, I tried to research some solutions and I came across to see the same situation from a YouTube, from, from the guy in YouTube. However, the instruction was not very clear. That's why I'm making this video again so that to help others make it easy to resolve the issue. But still, I'm very thankful for that guy for helping me to bring back my account. At least he gave me an idea on how to start, okay? So how I did it, first, okay, for example, if you are in your main account, let's go back to the main account, this is your main account, okay, you have to go to the help center, help center, and here you can see policies and reporting, directly you have to go to intellectual property, 
Our main objective here is to get the attention of Facebook because if you try the other type of reporting, they will not respond to you like a human response, you know? They will just, um, they will be like, like a robot, auto-reply, as you call it. So it's really no use. So to get the attention of Facebook, we have to report that it's about, it is about intellectual property violation, like a copyright issue. So here you have to click copyright and then you have to fill out this form. What is right what right is being violated or infringed? Yeah, you have to click copyright and then continue with your copyright report. And if you click these things, see you can't go through because it's gray. So you have to click the last one. I found content which I believe infringes my copyright so continue with my copyright report you have to fill up all this information okay someone else please provide what you want everything you have to fill up okay don't leave anything just fill it up all these details because this is how you will get the attention of Facebook and then less than 24 hours I actually got a response from them. So see, this is November 29. This is the first response I got from them. Just to, I think they are just trying to confirm that I submitted the report. And then I just replied, yes. Here, do you agree? Yes. Okay. And then they received the report. This is my complaint number. And then they ask some information to confirm that I'm the real owner of my page. And then I forwarded them my even my CP, my um, ID card, anything that can support that you are really the admin of your account, okay? And then they will forward this case to the, here, you report an issue accessing a page. So this is about, the, the issue is about accessing a page. So they will forward this to the right department. And once you are in the right department, then you can get your Facebook page back. That's it. First, you have to get the attention of Facebook and then report to them what really happened. You just need to be very honest and provide them with the right information that they need and immediately they will help you restore your page. For me, it took less than 48 hours to restore my page back. So everyone, let's just be careful because everyone is really, really at risk of this scam and they are spreading everywhere. You know, imagine last month I got hacked and again today someone was trying to hack me, to scam me. So it can happen to everyone. We have to be very, very careful. I hope this helps. And if you have any more questions, you can just um, message me or write a comment below. And if you can, please subscribe to my channel as well so that I can make more videos that can help others as well to resolve their issues. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the best.